Well, some Minnesota cities want to get involved in how THC infused snacks and drinks are sold now that a new state law is in effect. This review comes after at least one state lawmaker called for the law to be repealed. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan reports now on what local governments can and can't do with regulating cannabis. When it comes to cannabis, there are no red and blue states, just different shades of green. In Minnesota, we're now in a greenish gray area. Marijuana limited to medical use, but a new law effective July 1st, allowing the sale of food and beverages with a little THC from hemp. And business is buzzing at Grow to Life in St. Louis Park. It's not even really about the high. Um, when, when it comes down to it, people are really looking for relief. The law requiring THC edibles to have special packaging and messaging. The Board of Pharmacy also overseeing random tests on THC content, among other rules. That's fine with shops like Grow to Life, where managers say regulations, they're a good thing. So when you're getting into, you know, the, the processing piece of it, you want to make sure it's made from a correct process and really good ingredients instead of somebody's basement. The option for city or town councils, well, they're kind of limited. That doesn't mean they can't do anything, but state laws supersede local ordinances, not the other way around. What they can do, though, think about building codes and zoning regulations. So maybe they can't regulate what's being sold, but maybe where. In Stillwater, the city council already imposing a moratorium on new CBD shops. The mayor telling us the council also considering whether products should be sold on shelves or behind the counter like cigarettes, or whether to require an ID like with liquor, among other ideas. I don't think we're a city that's saying no to, to cannabis or recreational use. We just want to do it in an orderly way. Sources tell WCCO that St. Louis Park, Edina, Golden Valley, Minneapolis, St. Paul are also considering their next moves, among other places. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. St. Louis Park and Golden Valley City Councils tell us they'll address this as early as next week during study sessions.